Hi, Assalamualaikum. Welcome to ECS 444. So today I'm going to do some summarization on timber structural design. Okay, so basically now we do have five subtopic, the very important uh, topics in this timber structural design. Okay, the first one is uh, the physical properties of the timber. Okay, actually we do have, uh, there are six uh, properties of timber that we have to consider in the design. This first one is content, moisture content. The moisture content is actually referred to the quantity of the water contained in the material. Okay, and then this moisture content of a piece of timber is measured as a ratio of the weight of the water in the wood relative to its dry weight and is given as a percentage okay percentage of mc moisture content and then the second one is density it is a measure of a mass per volume okay and this density is actually a major factor in the process of determining uh, its strength Okay, next we go for a uh, slope of grain. Okay, grain is actually a longitudinal direction of the main element of um, timbers. And if the angle of this uh, deviation increases, meaning that the strength will decrease. Okay, and the next one is a timber defect. Okay, wood have a lot of defects actually due to the growing period and due to convers conversion and seasoning uh, process. So, this defect may cause reduction to its strength. Okay, next uh, we go for timber grading. Okay, basically in order to have uh, a way of selling or buying the timber product to various parts of the world, okay, the timber have to undergo the grading system for structural application okay this is actually to determine the permissible stresses to a series of grades and finally the position in tree and condition of growth okay timber structure of trees depends on uh, soil type tree spacing uh, sunlight and also the temperature okay so next we go for the defect in timber there are four types of defect okay natural defects occur during the growing period and then we do have chemical defect this uh, occur in particular instance when timber is used in um, unsuitable positions or in uh, associate with with another materials okay the next one is conversion defect Okay, this conversion this defects is actually due to misleading in the milling process, milling technique, okay, in attempting to use every possible piece of timber converted from the trunk. Alright, and finally, the seasoning defects. Okay, this, related, this defect is actually related to the movements that occur in the timber due to changes in moisture content, excessive or uneven drying, okay, which is exposed to wind and rain and this may produce defects in timber. Okay, next we go to the types of timber. There are, there are a few types of uh, timber, okay. Uh, the annual band of cross-section nearest to bark is called sapwood, okay, and the central core of the wood which is inside the sapwood is we call it as a hard wood okay hard hard wood okay in general okay in general uh, hard wood come from uh, trees which lose their uh, leaf annually okay whereas soft wood comes from confiner uh, which uh, usually remains evergreen and these trees and the trees from uh, from which a hardwood is obtained tend to the to be slower growing meaning um, the wood is usually denser okay this is what uh, we call softwood and hardwood okay and next we are going to look at the permissible stress design of timber okay actually we use uh, Malaysian standard, uh, standard ms uh, 9 uh, sorry 4 544 uh, for the design which is this is actually the code of practice for structural use of timber okay it apply the permissible this uh, stress design of solid timber and of course 
in general to determine the permissible stress, we we, we do have great stress, which is uh, need to be multiplied by the appropriate modification factor. Okay, and finally, uh, we are going to look into a timber structure design. Okay, so basically, we do have three elements. The first one is fracture member. Fracture member is actually a member which carries loads. Okay, uh, with respect to the longitudinal, so. Uh, this will cause a band, a member to bend, and then normally we we use fragile member as a beam, girders, okay, uh, purlins and joints. Okay, these are the example of fragile members. And then next we are going to we, we have to design the compression member. Compression member is actually a team. Uh, it's actually uh, a timber section are commonly used in uh, construction uh, by actually loaded member. Okay, this is such as trusses, okay, columns, and any vertical wall studs or bracing element. And finally, we do have tension member, which are subjected to, uh, subjected to actual tensile forces. And the example of these tension members are bracings for buildings and bridges, truss members, cables in suspe uh, suspended roof flooring system. All right, so that's all uh, about uh, the, the summary of the timber structural design. So thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.